Hi, I'm Matt Shaytek. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm also a DubSpot instructor. In this video, we're going to be looking at some more resampling techniques. I've been listening to a lot of kind of dusty New York style hip hop lately and wanted to kind of do something along those lines. But a lot of that stuff is sample based, and I tend to not do so much stuff using samples. I prefer to kind of compose my own music. So I decided to do a little bit of resampling to get some of that sample texture while still being able to write my own melodies and so on. So what we've got here is this is a little beat that I made and I'll just play you a piece of it. This is a continuation from our previous auto filter tutorial. So if you didn't see that, check that one out. So there you go. And so this I continued with my piano part from the auto filter video and I took it and applied some resampling techniques to it. So what I started with was this stuff. And I actually wrote the part at 96 BPM. So let's go back up. So that was the original part, and that's just piano, this little sculpture cello, and an ES2 high pad. And then the first thing that I did was I took it and I resampled it. So in this case, I'm just using a, a little simple mic that I have. It's actually the mic that I'm using to record this right now. And I just held my mic up a couple of feet away from my speakers, hit record in Logic on an audio track, and played back that part and that resulted in let's turn off all this stuff first that resulted in this so basically what it did was it added a little bit of natural acoustics right the reverb of my studio that i'm in and a bunch of noise all that hiss and that was kind of what I wanted to get from this. And then I actually added some compression to even emphasize that hiss more. And unfortunately, I don't have time to go into the particulars of the compression, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll do that in another video. And then I also added a little EQ to take out the low end. What I did next was actually mix that back in with my original parts. So then we ended up with this. Here's before. So I liked the noisiness and the low fineness that I was getting from doing that. So you could probably even do this using the built-in uh, microphone on your computer or like a phone or anything. The goal is not to get like a clean signal, it's actually to add dirt to the signal. And then I mixed it in with this and then went ahead and bounced all of this together, right? So here I'm gonna bounce as PCM, AIF, 24-bit, 
44.1 interleaved with no dithering. And I'm actually going to add this to the audio bin. So we'll call this resample two because I already did this once. Um, I'll do it offline, that's fine. Uh, don't normalize and we don't really need the effect tail for this. Now, once that's done, it's gonna appear over here in the audio bin. Here it is, resample two. And then what I'm gonna do is make a new audio track for it. At this point, I can mute all this stuff since I'm no longer using it. And let's solo that, we'll drop it on there. And what I did next was I actually turned on flex time on speed mode. Now this is gonna make it even more lo-fi. What I'm doing is I'm pitching it down. So if we do normal flex modes, like polyphonic would be a good choice for this if I want to keep it clean, it's gonna stretch it and not change the pitch, but speed is actually gonna pitch it down. So what I'm gonna do is I then, I added my little chopped up breakbeat drums here. But I didn't really like the feel at that tempo, right? So here it is with the little triplet hi-hat. So what I did was I took it and slowed it down to 75 BPM. And notice that it's turned orange here and that's because it's getting pitched down, right? So now what we've got is this. Which I thought was pretty cool. And you can hear it's it really sounds kind of Sounds like it's sampled from like an old VHS cassette or from like a movie or a, you know, a record maybe. It's not exactly vinyl noise we've got on there, but you get what I'm saying. It gives that kind of gritty, lo-fi kind of sound. What I did next was go in and chop it into quarter note pieces. Now, actually, when I think about it, you probably want to do this before you turn flex on. Let's just jump back up to 96 and turn flex off. I'm not sure if this is a bug in Logic or what, but it doesn't actually let me chop it automatically when I have flex on. So maybe before you flex it, just pick, in this case, I chose a quarter note. So if we click once with the scissor tool, it's just gonna cut out a quarter note here. But if we hold down option and click, it'll cut it into equal quarter notes, right? So now I've got my whole thing sliced up into quarter note chunks. And then I'm just gonna select them all. Now let's turn flex back on because we wanna get back to our new tempo of 75. There we go. And I'm actually gonna hide flex view just so I can right click on this. And then I'm going to go to convert, convert to new sampler track and do it by regions. I always use really short names for my sampler instruments because I find the longer they get, the easier they are to get messed up and lose the sample. So call that RS2, make sure create zones from region to selected, hit okay. And now what it's gonna do is make a new sampler instrument with each of those slices in it. So now you've got some nice samples to play with and that was what I used to make this. I added a little reverb on a send. And so to me, that kind of gets into that kind of gritty New York hip hop, sample based hip hop kind of zone, you know, like some of our favorite Mob Deep and Wu-Tang records from back in the day. But we're not sampling old Stax 45s. We're sampling our own performances and nobody's going to come sue us or take our publishing money, which obviously we don't want, right? So throw that together with the breakbeat. I threw a little 808 on there. If you want to uh, learn how to make the 808, I did a video, it's on the Dubspot channel. You can check that out. And uh, yeah, then we got this.
So, if you'd like to learn more about logic, you can check us out at dubspot.com where we offer our full 48 class course both online and at our school in Manhattan in New York City. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my music, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. And if you enjoyed the video, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. We'll be releasing these videos more or less weekly. And so if you go ahead and subscribe, you'll get a notification when the new videos come out. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.